Topping business tonight, former Prime Minister Owen Arthur says the Barbados economy is experiencing a debt overhang, which is at the core of the country's economic problems. When 60 cents in every dollar of government's revenue has to go to pay debt, it means that government does not have the money to fix the roads, it does not have the money to send people to university, it does not have the money to keep the hospital fully supplied and do all the things that people want to do, have done in a good society. At the core of Barbados' problems is a debt overhang. In this year's estimates, as you will see, our total revenue available to the government of Barbados is going to be $3.2 billion, but the amount required to pay debt is $1 billion $691 billion. And Mr. Arthur says the only solution now is to refinance the country's debt as other countries in the region have done. He also believes that one of the best courses of action to do this is to engage the International Monetary Fund, through which Barbados can access up to $700 million. He adds that the government can use the Barbados Sustainable Recovery Plan as the tool by which to engage the IMF to show that the country has come up with a homegrown solutions package. Meanwhile, Mr. Arthur also says that the more than $200 million loss in revenue from the island's international business sector should not have been replaced by increased taxes. If you seek to replace $256 million in taxes from realized income from export sector, pure export sector, with $256 million by way of a 10% tax on domestic sales and transactions, you can only, as the Minister saw in this budget, you can only realize that if you affect negatively $2.5 billion of domestic transactions. You can only realize $256 million by way of a 10% tax if that tax falls on $2.5 billion of transactions. And that is why the economy is struggling. Sandals Resorts International is continuing to make its mark as a leader in environmental sustainability by earning its place as the only hotel chain in the world to have six resorts currently holding master certification from EarthCheck, the world's leading scientific benchmarking, certification and advisory group for travel and tourism. In addition to its six resorts holding master certification, the hotel chain also boasts six resorts with platinum certification, three certified gold and three holding silver certification with Sandals Barbados holding the silver certification. Operations manager of Sandals Barbados, Nicholas Jordan, was elated by the announcement, saying that they are extremely proud of the achievement as Sandals strives to be completely environmentally sound and informs all of its team members on how vital the earth is to us. He added that it is an amazing feat for the company's newest resort. I will take a break here, but we'll be back after these messages. <music> 